Hello, I'm Mohamed Khan, and last year I won the Branford Bowes Award with my debut novel, I Am Thunder. Running alongside the Branford Bowes Award is the Henrietta Branford Writing Competition for Young People, which encourages writers of the future, something Henrietta Branford was always keen to do. I wrote the opening paragraph for a story, and the competition asked young people under the age of 19 to finish it. I'm delighted to say that there was a bumper bag of entries this year. Thank you to everyone who joined in. A massive congrats to you all. The standard was really high, but Judge Prue Goodwin has selected six winners whose stories show real originality, have imaginative plots, and are told in genuine writers' voices, something that's not easy. I can now announce who those six winners are. Arush Chowdhury, aged 10, from London. Arush's story, A Suspicious Day at School. A school-based horror adventure involves escaping an unknown danger, hypnotised school children, strange occurrences in the science lab and the daring hero toiling away to save the day. Clearly, Arush is an imaginative and able author. Jenny Gillen, aged 16, from Cockermouth. At the beginning of Jenny's story, called Death's Journey, we have no idea of the identity of the narrator. What we do have is a distinct internal image of the setting and a desire to read. The narrative draws to a compelling ending, a truly grossing read. Eleanor Hetherington, aged 14, from London. Eleanor's story, The Thea, asks what will happen if and when the pandemic is finally under control. Will life just return to normal? Written in a mature, considered style, this story hints at possible changes to come in many aspects of our lives. A very well-constructed story, which is both prescient and chilling. Isabel Nichols, aged 10, from Hull, for The Undercover Fairy. The writer's voice in The Undercover Fairy has the genuine feel of its author. We can hear the narrator throughout as strange, exciting and nerve-wracking events take place. Congratulations, Isabel. This is a really enjoyable read. Theo Wilde, aged 12, from London. Theo's story, Stitched Up, uses my introductory paragraph very well, mirroring its tension to build to a shocking end. A school-based tale with elements of mystery, as well as dread. The final line is particularly scary, leaving readers with a terrifying, lingering image. And finally, Millie Wilson, aged 11, from Welling, Kent, for her story, May the 4th. With an irresistible opening line, Millie's story takes us straight into a family trip to the cinema to see a Star Wars film. Then boom! We're in another place, in another time, with the alarming prospect of living in a workhouse. A thoroughly ingenious time slip tale. Congratulations again to Arouge, Jenny, Eleanor, Isabel, Theo and Millie. You can read all their stories now on the Branford Bowes Award website and see for yourselves why we were so impressed. Thank you again to everyone who entered and keep writing.